what's up guys welcome back to faith family homestead i have nehemiah in the kitchen with me i have been harvesting so much produce from the garden um just a few days ago i harvested all of my cucumbers off of my plant and replanted a second round of cucumbers and then this morning i went outside and harvested some celery i have been trying to grow celery here for three years and this year I finally finally succeeded the plants aren't super big but I did get two plants from seed to germinate and I finally f harvested my first round of celery. I didn't harvest the whole plant. I just took some um, celery from the outer leaves. Today we are in the kitchen and I'm going to be showing you one of the ways that I'm going to be using this produce um, because I have so much coming in. And if you know anything about cucumbers, you know that they come in an abundant and we don't eat a lot of pickles. Um, I already do have pickles canned and I have refrigerated pickles canned, but after a while I have to start figuring out different ways to use cucumbers especially. And if you follow me on Instagram, I've showed a few ways that I've been using cucumbers. But in today's video, I wanted to show you one of the ways that I'm going to be using my cucumbers and my celery, um, and that is by juicing. Um, I really, really love fresh juice, but it's really expensive if you go to like Whole Food or, or Earth Fair or stuff like that that sells um, juice. And so I do have um, a juicer, and I'm going to be showing you specifically how to use this juicer and use my garden fresh produce. So Nehemiah is going to be helping me and. We'll get right into it and then we'll taste it and see how yummy it tastes. So first I wanted to show you uh, up close. It has this top right here. This is where you put the, the food in. This does, yeah, that does move off. That does pop out if you need to clean it. And then this is where the juice comes out and where the pulp comes out. And then on the other side is where you have your control manual. So you have on and then reverse so we're just going to start with the celery, then we'll go to apples and the cucumbers. I did try to pick the cucumbers that were getting a little soft on me because um, I thought those would be better for juicing. So I think that's pretty much it. There's not really anything left in the top, so we're gonna go ahead and cut it off. And then we're going to drink this. So you can see this is how much pulp we got. I did end up using two apples. And I think six cucumbers, six or seven cucumbers that I had that were tiny. Because I had this big bowl sitting here with cucumbers, so I just wanted to use all the tiny ones and the ones that were starting to go bad. I like to use, when I make juices like this, as health in a cup. And so what I do is, we have these little 8 ounce cups, and I just fill it up for one cup full, and I give it to all my kids, and we all drink it. Right now it's just me and my three daughters here. I wanted to show you on the side, it does have milliliters and ounces. This filled up between the 25 and the 30 uh, mark. Oh. 
What's it taste like? Do you taste the apple? Is it super gross? No. Is it super gross? No. It's not the best though. It's not the best. But you can drink it. So obviously you can juice whatever you want. I do like to do, um, usually I do add a green. I didn't have a green today and I'm growing a green for my garden. Um, I only added the apple to give it a little sweetness, but it wasn't much. It was mostly uh, cucumbers because that's what I have a lot of. And I feel like taking a shot of cucumber juice or even celery, which is why I wanted to grow it in the garden, is to make my own juices. And I'm so happy I got a chance to grow it this year. Um, but it just gives you a boost. Um, there's so many... Um, juicing recipes that you can follow so you don't have to only do a green juice recipe but you guys definitely let me know if you um, get this juicer I will have a referral link in the description box I'll actually even pin a comment and I'll have a discount code which will be faith family and I'll leave all of that information in the description box as well as a pinned comment let's see I'm gonna pour the next for my next daughter Anaya hi I made this juice for you. It's celery and cucumbers. In an apple. <laughs> <laughs> but drink it. It's not that bad. That's good. Okay. So this comes off. Ooh. Can't do it with one hand. That comes off. That's what was all of the fruit was going through and grinding it up and so you can clean this easily this pulp you can this pulp you can use in your garden um, usually what I do with food and stuff is we have a pig bowl over here and that's where I put any um, any food scraps that we eat or that the kids have left over I just put inside that pig bowl so I'll just put the pulp in there as well you can compost it you can do whatever you want with food scraps you can freeze it for later to put it in soups or whatever you want to you could probably even make muffins out of it because one of the ways I use cucumbers was using it in a zucchini uh, recipe and substituting cucumbers for zucchini so you know, I don't know, maybe I would do that with just cucumbers. This time I added celery, so I don't know how a celery cucumber muffin would taste, but sky's the limit. This does come out as well, and you can just easily clean that. And that just easily lifts off, and then you can clean the inside of that. So and I called you because I have some juice here for you to drink. So I can only drink all of it? Yeah, drink all of it. Oh. It doesn't taste that bad. <laughs> What's it taste like? It's like celery. Tastes like celery? Mm -hmm. It doesn't taste like cucumbers? Okay, we'll drink it. Thank you. <laughs> Everybody's drunk theirs. The rest is mine. Um, I thought I was going to taste more cucumber because that's what I use the most and I only use like four or five stalks of celery but it does have a very abundant celery taste and it's not um, sweet but it doesn't taste bad. Alrighty guys I've drank all of my juice. I got the uh, juicer all cleaned up. So it's all cleaned up and put back together. It's super simple. I like that it's so sleek and so it can stay right here on my on my counter during garden season so that I can easily pull it out to juice when I want to. A problem I've had in the past with juicers is that they're so big and so then I put them away and I'm the type of person if it's out of sight it's out of mind and I'm not thinking about it and so then I don't juice as much but with this sitting on my couch 
on my counter and having fresh and having access to it and having access to that fresh bowl of cucumbers if we don't eat it all fresh i can um, make me some more juice in the morning and as more produce is coming in i can um, even if i wanted to pull the rest of that celery because it's getting really hot i could have a shot of celery in the morning so the sky's the limit really in juicing um and so i'm really really ha happy to have it on my counter like i said all of um, the links to where you can purchase one is going to be down in the description box um, and you obviously don't have to um, juice just your garden produce but if you even wanted to buy produce from the store which is what I've done a lot of times I actually have a juicing um, a whole juicing recipe book I just checked my bookshelf bookshelf to see if I could find it I didn't find it there but I do have a whole book um, that's dedicated to just juicing that has different recipes you can try I actually forgot I had ginger in there and usually I add ginger just for like that spice of kick to start your um, metabolism it is the morning time when I'm doing this is a little it's it's 11 o'clock and I so I probably did that around 10 o'clock when I juiced all of that usually you know I'll do it even earlier than that just to get my metabolism going especially if it has a kick of ginger in it so if you guys made it to the end of the video thank you so much for watching if you want more videos of me showing what I'm doing with my produce definitely let me know I've kind of been sharing all all of the process of what I'm doing with all of the produce that I'm getting out of the garden in on Instagram in short format so with my cucumbers I've made um, cucumber mint jam I've made cucumber muffins I made cucumber chocolate cake um, and all of that is in um, substitution for zucchini and my kids really really liked it so thank you guys for hanging out with me on this short video while I showed you guys just one of the ways that I am using my garden fresh produce so I'll see you guys on my next video bye